Houston. Rat Damon. Here. All right. Here. Raticia Keys. Here. Ratilda. Here. David Rattenborough. Here. Ratness Aberdeen. Here. Ratat. Present. Good. You rocked up, Bob. Present. Rat Bubba. Wow. Look at that. So many humans. Yeah. 
and waited and waited and waited. Why did you want to find treasure? Oh, as I said, dumb as a rock. <laughs> well, you see, times were hard for humans. Manik overheard his mom and older sister talking about money problems. Mom was always sad. He didn't want his mom to worry anymore, so he thought finding the treasure would solve their problems. Brave well, boy. Children shouldn't have to solve adults' problems. That's the adult's job. It is very true, Ratet. But that's what often happens. Adults unconsciously burden their kids with their problems. Oh, Magda was caught between a rock and a hard place. Either tell her mother where Marek went, and knowing she'll freak out and go after him, or protect her mother and risk her own life to save him.
should have used a sword. Don't worry, Bob. Mirror shards can cut deep, too. I'll do. Oh, I see. Um, enough to cut a rat's tail! <laughs> <laughs> so, Magda tucked a mirror into her bag, took one last deep breath, and headed towards the crooked circle. She found the entrance to the dungeons right next to the snow steps.
moving. What is she waiting for? Well, you see, the creature was much intrigued by the presence of the young woman. She sure is a brave girl. And so different from a man who would usually cross the path of the Basilitrix. Oh, she did. 
did not have a heart of stone. The Basilitrix was not her enemy. It was people who, in their ignorance, had imprisoned her and turned her into a dreadful monster. All she desired was freedom, far from human cities and dungeons. But she turned people to stone on purpose. She cast a curse of stone upon those who sought to harm her. She did not wish to take their lives, only to protect herself. She held on to the hope that one day she would manage to break free from the chains and fly away. Well, I would turn people into stone if I could. So what happened next? Did Magda help the Basilatrix?
Magda did what she thought would be the easiest way to rescue the Basilitrans. She was afraid that humans would be too terrified to understand that the Basilitrans was not the monster and willingly released her. Ah. So, did the petrified humans have a big party when they returned to the village? <laughs> they organized a lavish feast in the Old Town Square, and there seemed to be no end to the singing and the dancing. All the while, Magda helped the Basilitrix escape from the dungeons, and under the cover of night, the beast fled from Warsaw. I can respect that. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Good job. They made a monster out of her. See? Humans are bad! <laughs> See that suspiciously stone-faced man over here? I bet he could rock the boat! <laughs> Not all humans are bad. The point is that we shouldn't take things as set in stone. You should always ask questions until you know enough to understand the whole situation. Even if someone calls you dumb as a rock. Constant dripping wears away the stone. 